This patch of land is where thousands of refugees lived until recently. This is no man's land now, but not so long ago, just a few weeks ago, there was tents, there was what passed for shops, cafes, a sense of community. There were families, kids, all walks of life who had come here looking for something, and now it's all been bulldozed. I'm 15 years old, from the city of from Syria. القرى والمدن اللي على أطراف البلد كان دائما تتعرض لهجمات وبيوم من الأيام كمان داعش عمل اقتحام على مدينة الحسكة يعني على البلد بعد ما فات الداعش داعش صار تفوت بين الحارات وبين ال... بين البيوت يعني فالعالم صار تهرب لا أخذنا معنا شيء ولا أي شيء أفدنا بس يعني بأرواحنا What inspired you to come and live here? I've been very close to the refugees for the last two years as I've been working with them. And actually, um, I had something very difficult happen in my life a couple of months ago. I was, you know, part of my life got crushed in the Western world. And I said, I felt like a refugee. And I thought, I feel like a refugee. I want to go live with the refugees. And actually, the refugees have helped me heal. Can I ask you how old your children are? My children, old one, four years, second one, two years, the last one, three months, I couldn't see him until now. How it could make you feeling when you have a part of your heart, you couldn't see him until now. I went to Mawa and from there, I went to my father, my father and my father. على لبنان ومن لبنان على اسطنبول قررت اني اكمل فبهالوقت انا ضليت لحالي كملت وطلعت على اليونان ومقدونيا وصربيا وكرواتيا وسلوفينيا والنمسا والمانيا لو وصلت لهون على فرنسا طبعا انا لي خالي ببريطانيا انا رايد اروح لعند خالي يعني ما ما فيني ضل باي بلد تاني لانه ما بعرف حدا do you have a hope to be reunited with your family? Not here, but somewhere else? What sure, sure, How absolutely. How do you keep that hope? By sunrise. This is Blues Youth Centre for 12 to 18 year old boys, which are kind of a, a group that seems to slip through the net. Women and children are usually covered and then it just jumps to everyone else. Kids need a space to be kids with really. and you come into something like this and it just doesn't exist. It's grow up, be a man. If you're 13, 14, 15, it, does, it doesn't make a difference. Grow so the football began in end of October, early November, when we were playing on the professional pitches just next to the camp. Uh, the problem is our accessibility to the professional pitches has been kind of prohibited by the uh, riot police. In the kind of the last couple of weeks, we've been using the 100 metre buffer zone as our as our area to play football. On. Does it give you? A, is it one of the best things of your day when you can come here and play? Yeah, football? yeah, yeah. You can forget thing. everything else. Yes, yes. Because when we sport during the sport, our brain is very clear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so in sporting, sport is also useful for the body. Mm -hmm. So I love to play soccer. If all this goes next week, then we we just can't see how this we can't see how it plays out. We can't see where our young people go. We ju we just have no. As much as we're trying to create a contingency plan, it's seeming almost impossible to come up with one that will, you know, meet their needs on almost any level. So it's scary. Yeah. أول ما جيت هون على الجنجل كان الوضع كتير صعب. يعني ما كان عندي مكان لا أنام فيه لا كان عندي مكان أقعد فيه برد وتعب ومحاولات عم نطلع محاولات فاشلة بدي أكمل دراسي بدي أعرف إيش صار مع أهلي إيش ما صار إنه أنا كمان هلأ ما بعرف أي شيء عن أهلي بدي أطلع على أمل إنه يحكوا مع أهلي يحكوا مع خالي بيوم من الأيام وأعرف أي شيء عنهم يعني What's quite extraordinary and also quite beautiful about this is that for a moment of their day, these guys are just kids. 
We were nine friends. We used to go to the stadium to see matches. We didn't like a certain atmosphere. We started to breathe fans doing racist uh, choirs. We, we thought we had to do something with the same tool, football, to say something different and we decided to found Liberinantes. Mm -hmm.